What little things keep you happy? When someone tells me that a certain thing reminded them of me or they thought of me after looking at something. This, so much, I'd love to feel this. You know what hurt me the most after my ex and I broke up? I liked him as a person, not just a boyfriend. Maybe once a month I think about him like this, but he blocked me and doesn't care anymore. He might still care. I find I have to cold turkey completely sever all ties after a breakup for about 6 months before I am able to be just friends. Otherwise I don't get over the relationship properly, especially if they broke up with me. I still don't want them to contact me, but it's not because I don't care about them, it's because I don't want to care about them. If I brought up something in a conversation about what I wanted to do and the next time we meet the other person asks how it went, it makes me feel good and I actually feel like I exist. I work in the film business, constantly changing crews, you definitely make friends, but you might connect with someone and not see them for years. I had an assistant, Tara, she never forgot anybody's name, ever, she could meet someone 4 years later, throw open her arms, and gust, for example, Evan, how is your wife, did her catering business work, and your daughter was graduating last time we saw each other, has she graduated yet, she never forgot a name, a face, or a detail. I have never seen a person more loved and more loving. I am the opposite. I was her boss, and I guess I flatter myself that I have always had to ponder the more difficult things that we were dealing with. Tara was an inspiration. Years later, we both have kids, and things have changed. She has become a psychologist. Man, the people that will walk into her office have no idea how fortunate they are. A genuine compliment as a guy it is rare and can make my year honestly, always a good memory. My three favorite compliments that I've gotten that I still think about all the time. A girl at work told me she really likes the way I hold my coffee cup. I order a lot of things from the library and when the guy that works there found out who I was he told me that I have the best taste in movies of anybody he's ever come across. I was at some tennis courts by myself and a guy walking past told me I had a nice swing. Getting a blanket and soda of my favorite show while drinking some tea. It's also the routine and anticipation throughout the day. Knowing that, whatever BS happens throughout this day, and I'll be home chilling without having to worry about a thing. Without having to worry about a thing. How can one learn such a power? I feel like I'm always straying coming up. There is a time to think, worry, and do. There's a time to not. Separate those times with some sort of self. Getting a blanket and watching an episode of my favorite show while drinking some tea. It's also the routine and anticipation throughout the day. Just knowing that, whatever BS happens throughout this day, in 12 hours I'll be home chilling without having to worry about a thing. Without having to worry about a thing. How can one learn such a power? I feel like I'm always stressed about something coming up. There is a time to think, worry, and do. And there is a time to not. Separate those times with some sort of self-serving ritual like blankets and tea, a book, and your dog, or paint and a canvas, or video games and dridos. Whatever your little hobby or comfort is, take that time to tell everything else to fuck off. Generally this is a time where even if you found the perfect something to do, it would not be time to do it, so might as well self-care instead. The fact that my cat sleeps at the foot of the bed on my side whenever I'm in bed. She's not very outwardly affectionate, so it's sweet that she tries to be close to me when she thinks I don't notice. My cat growing up did this. My feet still get cold without him. Miss yeah buddy. My cats tried to sleep right yeah, 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 night next to me. They learned that was a bad idea. I rolled over in my sleep and right onto them. I woke up to screaming and confusion. After that, they slept right above my head or right below my feet. When I come through the door at the end of the day, the cats always scream in delight. They never do it for my boyfriend or anyone else. I'm positive that it's because they've learned that when I'm gone for a few hours then come back, they means they're about to be fed. But I'd rather pretend it's because they love me. Honestly, your cat probably loves you very much. My cat adores my husband, though I'm his feeder, so he lets me pet him and will sometimes make biscuits on my lap. When someone says I smell good, I sweat a lot and constantly fear that I smell bad, even if I haven't done anything to make me sweat. So the random compliments I get on my cologne or deodorant or whatever make me feel better. I tell myself I don't smell bad, I know that I don't, but it's that constant, nagging but what if, that always gets to me. I have been wearing Armani cologne since middle school because the girl I was obsessed with said I smelled nice. I went through the same for a year back in high school. 
I was using a friend's cologne because I was afraid that my mom could smell weed but then I went to class and my crush told me that she just wanted to hug me because I smelled so good. Bought that shit the day after and used it for a year until I couldn't stand it anymore. The morning ritual I share with my cat, he'll jump up on the bed for some cuddles when I wake up then we head over to the bathroom where he'll sit in the shower while I'll turn on the water in the sink for a few seconds so the shower drain makes a sound, he'll watch it with great interest for a round or two before leaving, then he'll jump on the counter in the hallway and give me a goodbye sniff before I leave for work, yes, my cat always runs down the stairs to see me when I get home from work, I pick her up and pet her until she asks to be let down, it makes me smile every single time. Yes, my cat waiting for me when I get home will always make me smile too. Apparently my dad witnessed her get up and head to the door before my car had actually turned onto the gravel driveway, so it's possible she knows the sound of my car specifically. Seeing people I care about smile, a good beer in a warm building when it's freezing outside, the uncontrollable urge to toss an arm around around a fellow man after a few beers and just tell him he's a great guy who deserves the best, hearing someone call me useful, literally anytime someone smiles when they spot me anywhere, that shit keeps me going for weeks, don't really hear this one that much these days but absolutely just hearing that I'm cute slash physically attractive would make me happy for like a month at a time, even if we weren't dating and nothing came of it your comment made me smile so you're useful yours made me smile too laughing face the way my dog lays on my leg and watches me when i'm laying down after a bad day especially when he lays his head on you i call that getting head time getting head if you will the sun sets over here they remind me how beautiful the world can be even if the place you're at the moment seems hostile and dark you can see beauty in it I feel this, had the worst week of my life, filled with so much sadness and exhaustion, and I looked at the sunset, I cried really hard and felt that life is good no matter what. Okay so at my school's lunches you're allowed to do whatever you want as long as no one gets hurt there's no drugs and you don't get out of your seat, so my friends and I play Uno every day. Now this has resulted in a few things. A there's a group of 6 kids who are just randomly fantastic at Uno from playing every day for 3 years. B people know us as the UNO table and if someone has no one to sit with they play UNO with us. It makes me happy when a new kid comes and sits with us cause we know we may have made a friend. None of us knew each other before this UNO thing, and we may have just made this kid's day by giving them a place to sit when they're trying to navigate a new school. Also the school resource officer plays with us once a month and always manages to win. Thank you for not forming an unapproachable lunch table clique. You all are the real HS heroes. It's not the 90s slash 00s anymore. The coolest kids are the warmest slash welcoming slash smart ones. Times have changed for the better. Thanks fuck her throat. Showers. I love showers. I once went on a mission trip to Jamaica and the place I stayed at was considered fairly nice and they even had issues with water supply. I would be shampooing my hair and suddenly the water would just shut off. Access to warm running water is a luxury. I am always in disbelief that I get to come home to a warm shower every night. For those of us who can, don't let that little gift go unnoticed. It's truly a privilege. Watching a dog sleep on its back cockroach style. They look so carefree and silly. The way the sun can warm you up on a chilly day, peanut butter, and jelly sandwich with chips in front of the TV, carried over from childhood, don't ask me, the birds dancing in the sky, packages being delivered then of course opened, the way music hits your soul when the sun is setting and it's nice enough to drive with your windows down, my puppies, smiley face, edit, thanks internet friend for my first ever gold on a comment, you're the best. When my friends text me first, yo where are my if I don't text first nobody will text me or invite me for anything or remember I exist nobody besides family cares about me haha <laughs> nervous laughter homies. Unfortunately I realized how much of an initiator I am in 90% of my friendships when I moved 3 states away. Moving was busy and stressful etc so I went about 2 months or so not really chatting with anyone regularly, 0 of my 4 or 5 closest friends texted or called, it was extremely disheartening, I still love them all but it's exhausting sometimes, also shout out to my mom for never forgetting about me, edit, we get it, none of you have friends. This is gonna sound dumb but, a nice glass of clean water, slightly chilled, no ice, 
in a proper clean glass, not in plastic, styrofoam, aluminum, or what have you. First I just enjoy the taste and the texture, I guess you could call it. This is where the glass helps a lot. Not while I'm watching TV, not while eating food, and not because I'm particularly parched, although quenching that is awesome, too. It's just a moment. Me and the water, and the glass. Not really thinking about anything, not distracted or stressed. It's clean, pure. Yes of course, it's been treated, so maybe I'm enjoying that. Not sure what to say here. Sometimes I'll reflect how casually I can do this when other parts of the world cannot. Or other times in the world, for that matter. I might linger a moment on how fundamentally necessary water is to life. But usually I'll just sip and enjoy the moment, not thinking about anything. Just the water.